Welcome to the Mac video for ERS Project 3-Way Gauge Comparisons. This video is the second in the series for project gauges. The video describes how to add, update, and delete the initial 3-Way Gauge Comparison between an IA, QC, and VT gauge. A 3-Way Gauge Comparison must be the first gauge comparison performed on an ERS project. Another three-way gauge comparison can be performed at any time during the life of the ERS project. A common practice on the initial three-way gauge comparison is for IA to compare to multiple QC and VT gauges, so there is more than one valid gauge for each level. These entries must be made in MAC as individual entries with one IA, QC, and VT gauge. For example, an IA gauge comparing to two QC and two VT gauges would result in two three-way gauge comparison entries on the ERS project. You must be in your system roles and have the role of project administrator to add, update, or delete a gauge comparison. The first video in this series was for data entry from each company on the ERS project to list the project gauges. Now we can enter the initial gauge comparison. From the Mac home screen, select the Earthwork Record System menu option, then select the Earthwork Record System submenu option. You will be navigated to the ERS project. Mac defaults to the last ERS project you worked on. If this is not the correct ERS project, enter the financial project number in the go to field and select it from the returned list. Click on the Gauge Comparisons tab to expand it. We will also click on the Gauges tab to expand it. At this point, we have entered project gauges, but none of them have been included in a successful gauge comparison, so they are not valid for use on the ERS project. Select the Add Comparison option. An Add Comparison dialog box appears. Enter the date the gauge comparison was performed in the comparison date field. New fields appear for the gauges in the gauge comparison. Select the QC, VT, and IA gauge from the drop-down lists. These lists are made up of the gauges entered under the gauges tab. New fields appear after each gauge is selected for technician wet density, and moisture. Enter the information for each level. At this point in the video, we will pause and enter the information. When you have entered the information, select the Save option. If the gauges compare, they are indicated as a valid gauge. If they do not compare, the non-comparison is shown in red bold font. The gauges that did not compare are not indicated as valid gauges. Both QC and VT gauges must compare in an initial three-way gauge comparison for them to be valid gauges. If any of the technicians performing the gauge comparison is not qualified in Earthwork Construction Inspection Level 1, the tin will be flagged with red bold font on the gauge comparison. This is not a project finding. If the comparison is successful, the gauges are still considered to be valid. The flag is meant to be a reminder to the technician and supervisor to investigate why they are not being shown as qualified and address it before they perform acceptance testing. Once the gauges are designated as valid, do not include them in a three-way or two-way gauge comparison where all the gauges in the gauge comparison are already designated as valid. This may cause a gauge that has been designated as valid to no longer be valid. For example, another three-way gauge comparison between these gauges should not be performed as long as the gauges continue to be designated as valid. To update a gauge comparison, select the update icon by the comparison date. It looks like a pencil. An update dialog box appears. Make changes to the data as needed and select the save option. 
To delete a gauge comparison, select the delete icon by the comparison date. This delete icon may not always be available. A delete dialog box appears. Select the delete option. The gauge comparison is deleted. Any gauges made valid by that gauge comparison may no longer be valid until they are included in a successful gauge comparison. This concludes the Mac video for three-way gauge comparisons. Thank you for reviewing the training. In the next video, we will demonstrate a two-way gauge comparison. If you need assistance with Mac, please contact your local district application coordinator. For assistance with ERS, contact the local district materials and research office earthwork specialist.